good afternoon guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how I use this 240 volt light system on 12 volts in my motorhome so let's do it shall we I'm not going to show you how it actually fitted because it's basically just screwed in and wired in like normal you know three wires screwed in that's it so uh, that's done what I am going to show you is how I get it to run from 240 volts to 12 volts and still be major bright first things first I bought this from screw fix I think it was about 15 16 pounds I will have a link to the one I bought down below in the description and then they're LED lights and they run perfectly fine uh, power wise use about 1.2 amp 1.5 amps I'll get a better reading tonight when there's no solar coming in and there's nothing else and I can get a better baseline I'll uh, turn it on and I'll show you how bright it is but as you can see three spotlights they all move wherever you want and they're super bright so you can set it all up perfectly nice see there's the LEDs now this is where the beautiful part comes in because this this is actually it takes G GU 10 bulbs now if you've looked at any bulbs or anything out there you you will know GU 10 only works on 240 volts so this is where you can buy this it is a GU10 to GU5.3, which is also known as MR16. The only LED spotlights I've found that run on 12 volts are GU5.3, which are also known as MR16s. So I found I bought these and I found this connector. This connector is simply uh, plug and play. You get this. Now I'll show you, I'll tell you what this is and I'm gonna renew this in a moment. But you pop it in, twist it in, you're done. It will now, because 12 volts coming down the line into the system, into the light system, not 240, a GU10 light wouldn't power because it's not enough voltage. But because these run on 12 volts and they go through the connector, works perfect because I was looking for a, a spotlight system so I can move move lights and have some real decent light but I couldn't find any that were LED and I found single ones for this for the GU 5.3 but I couldn't find any like the big three-way spotlights which you get in kitchens and normal households so this was the best workaround now with this putty which I'm going to show you closer in a moment uh, because this is in the ceiling and this connection is quite tight but it rattles around up in the ceiling and these rattle around and they fall out and they hit the ground and these are tough as nails they're falling out a few times before I found another solution which stick this light to the connector and hold it now you can't just use any old silicon because the bulb is going to get hot there's power there you need something right that's where this silicon HT came in it can go up to 300 degrees um, and it sets really well um, you know you just put it on make sure you avoid the connectors and avoid the hole that's what I did and then pop it in now this one I knocked this one out the other day when I was put the t-shirt on I knocked I knocked the whole this straight out so that's why I need to restick it so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you resticking it it's nothing special and then pop it back in but yeah it's a really good little trick I mean you could because there's a much more selection on screw fix and online for GU10 fixtures so yeah I think it's a pretty good a good alternative for lighting really you can I, I could get all these as GU10s and then put these in them if I want which I'm thinking about doing so because these are pretty piddly they're not they're not the best you know so I could put these in nice little single spots and connectors and they've worked fine let me move over to where I'm gonna glue this in I'm gonna cut all this off glue it up again pop it in let it set and then tonight we'll pop it in once it's all set and like I say I'll show you what, what it's all like clean this off um, this is the first time I've had to do this so okay so that's basically what you've got it's a normal normal thing I can't I'm not gonna get much more off than that not without really 
picking, but I think it will stick pretty well. So yeah, like I say, you get this off um, Amazon. I think it was about five, six quid. Not much. I'm not even sure if it's that much. All right. Now let's squeeze a bit of this out. Load up this light. And this is basically what I did. Just avoid the poles because that's obviously where the electricity is going. I'd much rather mess with this end than that end because if I block them holes then the connector's dead. Oh, you can do this a lot neater than me. I'm not too fast. Not, no one really looks at my lights, so. Put a bit in that screw hole. Put a bit in there just for extra grip. And then pop it straight in and squidge. And that's that. Now, my very technical tool, the toothpick. Just gonna go around, make sure it's all there. Again, like I say, you could do this a lot neater than me if you want. If you don't, then follow me. The main thing is it does what it needs to. If it gets hot, it, it's rated for 300 degrees. And I don't think my light's gonna be getting that hot. That is the finished product. <laughs> Um, I'm going to leave that to set now for four or five hours and then wait until it gets dark, plug it in, I'll show you plugging it in and then we'll turn it on, I'll show you how bright it is and then I'll show you how much power it's using through the solar system. All right. Until then guys, good evening guys. This is set for probably about four or five hours, maybe more. Rock solid now, you know, that ain't going nowhere. What we're going to do now is we're going to pop it in, as you can see. Which is a normal GU10 connector. Pop this in here, like that. Twist, it's all secure, they're all secure. So let me turn all the lights off. You ain't gonna see me for a second. Let me find the switch. All the lights off, on. Angle these any way you want, you know. So if you want something near the kitchen, you know, you're on the kitchen. They're pretty good, really. I, I think they're pretty cool. So now, let me do another test. We have got like, minus 1.25, and that's with a couple of LEDs on. So let me turn it on. Yeah, so that's like 1.25, 1.25 amps. There you go. So that's the LEDs off. This is three spotlight LEDs. There you go. You can see the power consumption is about 1.25 amps an hour for these three spotlights. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed that. I hope you can uh, take something away from it. Maybe use some little spotlights in yours if you need something. Or if you do want... I mean, I don't use this all the time. This is when I need light. Then I whack this on. Because I've got a light under here, which is, you know, an LED, LED strip. Um, I've got little LEDs around. I don't always need massive booming light like Blackpool Illuminations um, but when I do need light it's perfect straight on I can see everything and I can direct it to where I need it looking in the wardrobe right now I've got two two spots bosh straight in there you know if I turn this off I'm looking for something in the wardrobe as you can see it's, it's dark don't get me wrong I have got a little battery powered LED in here you know, so I can, but that compared to that, you can see the difference. So, like I say, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope uh, it's helped you in some way. If you have liked the video, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't, give it a thumbs down. That's fine. If you're not already subscribed, I'd love it if you subscribe to the channel so you can keep up to date with my videos that are coming out. And uh, yeah, if you think anyone else is going to make use of this video, then uh, feel free to share it. I really uh, appreciate the support for the channel. Right, until the next video, peace out. Take it easy. Bye.